Good morning. Happy Monday. I hope you're having a wonderful week so far. Uh, this Monday, I got an interesting, it wasn't the message I had even thought of giving. In fact, I really didn't know what message I was going to get until I woke up this morning and got like a big gut punch. And I'm like, oh, there's, there's my Monday message right there. So last night I was doing, uh, I was just watching TV. And I, you know, if you've watched my previous post, you know, I'm a little bit of an entrepreneur. I've got a little entertainment business going and I, and part of that entertainment business, I do digital ghost tours uh, that are self-guided for people to take around and have fun and kind of explore the history and do, a, you know, tell them about the hauntings in the area. It's kind of a fun way for them to get out and be together. And that's my purpose and intention. You know, literally my motto is have fun helping other people have fun. And it's like, oh, what a great way to have fun. Just, you know, have people pile in the car and hit play and kind of explore with a guided tour guide, your own private tour guide, the, the area and learn about it. And so for the most part, it's been going good. I've, I've gotten some really nice comments from people and I'm so grateful for that because it sets me up for the day that I knew that was ine inevitably going to come. <laughs> Uh, the one that doesn't like it. Dun, da. <laughs> and I knew the day would come. And I'm sure there's plenty out there who probably didn't like it and just never thought to tell me. Uh, this lady last night, she was a thorn in my side because I was trying to watch TV. I was watching my 60 Minutes and then I get a thing from my website saying, hey, this lady's having some issues. And so I say, like, oh, she can't access the tour. So I was working with her to get, get her the tour. And finally, I got her the tour. I'm like, okay, good. She's got the tour. She's out of my hair. Hopefully, she has fun. And we leave it at that. And the day, then today, I wake up to a message that says, I got the tour. I was able to take it. And honestly, it wasn't worth the money. I paid for it. And I'm like, what? Well, that bitch is my first thought. That bitch. Who the hell is it? I knew she was trouble. And I immediately wanted to demonize and hate this woman. But then I had to step back and say, hold on now. You know, not every, you knew not everyone's going to like the tour. And I, that was always my, my thing when I put this up. I said, you know, put it out there. Those that want to take it, it's there for them to take. And if they enjoy it, good. And if they don't, then I'll just give them their money back. No big deal. So here's the one that doesn't like it. So just figure out a way to get her her money back, you know? And so I started writing her back and telling her, oh, you have to go through Groupon to get your money back. I'll, if you want, I'll give you a, a free other tour. But, you know, honestly, if you didn't like this one, you're not going to like the other. So I don't think you'll want that. Uh, and then I just, and then as I was getting ready to hit send, I said, you know what? There's something to learn from this lady. She, you know, let's just use this as an experience to grow and learn ask her for feedback, ask her why she didn't like the tour. Maybe it's a quick and easy fix, or maybe it's just something she's just not her cup of tea. She just doesn't like it. Uh, but if there's something that I can fix on my end, then I need to know it and, and fix it. So this lady could be doing me a big service. So I wrote as I'm writing, I was like, you know, thank you so much for your honest feedback. I really value it. Is there something that would have made the tour better for you? I didn't put, what did you hate? Because <laughs> I didn't want to be, poo, 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 poo. Yeah. <laughs> but I would like to, I would like to know actually. Um, and it's probably not going to feel good to hear what this lady has to say because she's, she's a very direct person, it seems like. And uh, I, you know, the tour was meant to be taken for people who have friends. And I don't know if this lady took the tour with friends because if she's, how <laughs> she is, she might not have as many friends. I don't know. And that's just me taking a jab at this lady. I don't know. But that's what I do. Uh, but I have to take it as an opportunity to grow. And I have to be willing to hear back from this lady. We'll see what she has to say. Um, whether she's got a legitimate beef with the tour, uh, you know, that, that would be something to learn and fix if I can. If not, if she just hates it, she hates it. Nothing I can do other than try and get her her money back. Um, but then, you know, the shame and the self-doubt and the self-worth, they plummet during these times. And it's hard 
you know, where everybody says, seek failure, go out and seek to fail. And it's not that easy. <laughs> Failing isn't fun. <laughs> it's not. But if you can learn how to deal with the failure and grow from the failure, that's the point of the whole thing. It's, it's really trying to, you know, not wanting to fail in the first place. Um, Because I certainly don't go out to seek to fail. Uh, But when I do fail, I have to take it for what it is and say, okay, this this didn't work for this person and find out I need to do some investigation and see what's going on. Um, You know, in life, I'm going to fail and it's not fun, like I said, but what do I do with that? How do I how do I take that failure and turn, you know, this into something worth salvaging that I can grow from and learn from. And then it takes some of the bite out of the failure. You know, I guess that's, that's the point of it all is if I can learn from the failure, then the failure doesn't have the power to put me down and shame me because I'm taking, taking this message that's been given to me and assessing it and doing something with it. You know, in recovery, it's, We do something called the fourth step, and that's about taking a personal inventory and getting rid of the the bad parts of you, trying to trying to understand what are the bad parts of me that are causing me problems, and then doing something with it. And that's the same thing here. You know, what's the bad part of of things going on with me that I need to take a look at and fix? And how I react to situations like this, I. It's absolutely an opportunity for me to take a look at myself and really grow from that. You know, what is it about me that's uh, so insecure about this? You know, it's my pride, pride and ego. Pride and ego is the top of it. And once again, I have to turn that pride and ego into service. You know, this this tour isn't about my pride and ego. It's about me providing a service to people out there and letting them have fun. So take pride out of the picture, turn it into service. It's a whole different story. And then I didn't fail because I, you know, I'm fixing it. So anyway, the message is kind of all over the place today, but it's designed to really kind of help you deal with failure and grow from failure. You know, again, I don't, nobody likes to fail, but when you do grow from it, you know, take that shit and grow. (laughs) Flowers need shit to grow. There you go. (laughs) Here we grow again. (laughs) So anyways, I hope you got something out of this. If you're, if you failed today, if somebody gave you a gut punch of something today, you got some negative feedback you didn't like. Yeah, it's not fun, but use it. Grow from it. Find out what's going on within you to take you to the next level. So you don't have to fail again because nobody seeks to fail. You know, we all seek to grow, though. All right. That's my message for today. If you're enjoying these, go ahead, click that subscribe. Let's keep in touch. I hope you have a wonderful week and we'll see you next week for another Monday message. Bye.